Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. Today we're going to look at the Watkins Single Malt. Alrighty, so um, today we're doing the, what's it called, the Watkins. Curly yeah. picked this one up uh, in Queensland. He was there for Mother's Day, picked this one up. Uh, I haven't tasted it yet. He, he's had a little bit. One last night. Um, I just smelt it and it smells odd, odd like a, something I've had before. Mm. Um, but anyway, so it's a Queensland whiskey uh, made with Queensland barley um, using French ex Shiraz staves. Um, and in, what's it, ex-bourbon hogsheads, yep. um, which are like, I think they're smaller barrels, uh, smaller size. But we didn't know, like it's not, no age statement officially, but it's from what we can find online, yeah, it's probably research. like seven years old, but um, not like 100% on that. Well, they say it was distilled in 2011 and bottled in 2018. So we're just so doing is, the math, you assume. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's 43%, so, Pretty average. Um, now the bottle, I, I like the design. It's cool. It kind of look. Well, I mean, honestly, it, it? it looks like uh, kind of a Shiraz yeah. kind of bottle or something. Mm. It looks like a red wine uh, bottle. It keeps. Uh, you would think that it would go straight down. It's just something I've just noticed. Not that interesting. But I thought it would go straight down, but it like keeps going out all the way yeah, to the bottom. The label is also super weird. I'm pretty sure it's made of like actual wood. Like it's not textured mm. like paper, like the bubbles are, like I think it's like bark or something. It's super weird, I've never seen this in my entire life. It's weird, but either way, it's cool. Uh, we'll get into the notes. It's from Mount Uncle as well. Where the hell is that? I think that's the distillery name, it's... Where is it approximate it to like side. where... It's north Where Queensland. we would go in Queensland. Far more north. Okay. It's like up near Townsville kind of. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. So no, we're much near, more no, we're near north. Nooser yeah. and stuff. But yeah, I've never seen this anywhere. It and I assume, because I was in a Queensland dance, that's why they were there. Maybe we should travel <laughs> a bit more often so we can get some They stuff. had a lot of selection in the Nooser yeah. one. In the Nooser. They had the yeah, Yamazaki yeah. 18. It was like $7,000, but it was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have the option. Yeah. <laughs> this smells like something. What the hell does it smell like? It smells like something Aussie. Like another Aussie whiskey. It does, yeah. King Lake, maybe? It was something We're gonna have to figure on. it out because yeah. we don't have many Aussie whiskeys, but I reckon we can figure it out. It also reminds me of the Manhattan. It's like but a that touch sultana. of bakery as well. I can't tell what the hell it is. Yeah, it smells... It's very fortified. Yeah. I'm getting like port sherry almost. Yeah, I'm almost... I'm on... Well, I can't speak today. I'm also getting like some weird kind of perfumey fruit and floral notes. They're like where the bakery super, hill kind of yeah, thing. like they're super floral and lots of like kind of fruit tingle fruitiness, um, but it's kind of got this kind of I don't know like liveliness to it. Yeah, zesty. Like as in yeah. like it's kind of um, like yeah zesty kind of fruit tingles, but also even with the the floral, it's kind of like got some weird liveliness to it. Kind of like a perfume, like the yeah. alcohol behind it. It's kind of I don't know. Oh, I just got something weird as well. I got like pine needles or something. I can actually see that, yeah. I'm getting like pine needles and like pineapple. It's like super weird. I'm getting like that red gum-esque impact, but it's yeah, not it's obviously the vibe. red gum. It's, yeah. like, it's like close enough that you can kind of, I don't know, like feel like they might have, bottles might have met at some point. Yeah, I'm getting weird like tropical, almost like kind of, I don't know, not tropical. I'm just getting weird pineapple and like pine, like pine needles. I'm getting pine, dark kind of. fruits more, but I can get the... I'm gonna taste it. Whoa. It's very fruity. It's super fruit tingly. Yeah. It's even zesty, like it feels yeah. zesty. Like initially it kind of tasted like sour. Not mm. like sour like something off, but it tasted like juicy, like fresh juices. It wasn't like, like I'm getting more, the finish actually right now. It's pretty long finish. It's, yep. it's giving off way more of the fortified like fruits. But initially it's like fresh and like juicy mm. up front. A lot of fruit. It's also got a decent, I mean, I haven't been drinking much at all lately, especially whiskey. So I, that might be what I'm accounting the kick to, but I'm getting a decent it, amount of kick. I believe it's also a pot still whiskey. Might be why it's like nice and yeah, thick and, and like oily. oily. This is weird. I enjoy it. There's some yeah. weird there's, but enjoyment. There, but there's something, what I'm confused about is that there's like, 
it's not, there are a few similarities uh, to Bakery Hill, mm. yet I despise the Bakery Hills that I've tasted and I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I think the Bakery Hills are a whole lot more perfumey. Yeah. This is more well, They're more chemically dark. perfumey. Yeah. These are like... This is like yeah. rich, dark, and it's probably, what, that's seven years. Who knows what that is? It's not um, malty at all. You're not getting this deep, uh, that mildew thing. No. If you're like you're coming from the Scotch world, it doesn't have that kind of like funky mildew, wet hay, multi note, uh, brand cereal. Some people say you're not getting that really. There's like a tiniest bit initially and then it goes. Yeah. Um, it's just super fruity. I don't know how I'd describe it really. It's kind of like an Australian rye with a touch of Japanese. Yeah. I don't know. With a bit with a of touch port. of scotch and yeah. Yeah, like with a touch of Glendronic 12 or something, mm. you know? Like just that. It's a weird. I really like I enjoy it though. I want to figure out what the hell it's reminding me of though. I wouldn't be Mo oh, it could be Morris. That's nah. pretty young. Nah, it was something <laughs> more like this. Morris was quiet. Uh. <laughs> what? Uh. It's like marshmallows. <laughs> I remember this being peaty. It's more like peaty burnt marshmallows. It's definitely not, not that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the Solera Rye. Maybe it's the mountain. Maybe I, maybe you were right, and that's where that kind of weirdness is coming that's through. That's got too much funkiness in it, though. Dude, this smells like the first batch that I ever made the whiskey. <laughs> it actually does. The sugar wash. The sugar, sugar wash. wash. It smells like sugar wash. <laughs> <laughs> that's bizarre. They're doing... They're going nuts. Yeah, they they're are. They're everywhere. What this? No, seriously. I think you were right. Like, there's so much of extra in this that's not yeah. there. But there's that weird underlying kind of like... I don't know, like, perfumey... It's like the red gum impact, but it can't be the red gum impact. Yeah, it's not. Maybe yeah, it, it smells it's weird. similar. That's obviously 60%, so it's a lot more... And really smoky. Deep and rich. That one, I still... It's like... It's odd. It's bizarre, but I really... I, yeah, the, I long, like the more I smell it and taste it, the longer we leave it, the more I enjoy it. Yeah. Like, initially, it's too... It's kind of on the Bakery Hill side of things. It was, like, too ethanol and potent in mm. these weird ways. Now it's kind of mellowed out a bit. This one... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Caramel, fruits, fruit tingles, yeah. juicy kind of, like, pineapple... A uh, bit of weird like pine wood, caramel, mm. um, and some uh, fortified dark fruits, yeah. uh, especially on the finish. Tiny bit of maltiness. Initially, up front, I get like straight up juicy fruit. Like yeah, I get yeah. a little bit of like lemon juice, mandarin, stuff like that. One um, thing is the price. Ah, uh, true. Because How it, much was it? It was 150 bucks. Yeah. I don't know if that's going up because even on their own website, they say they stopped this run in 2018. So it could just be going up in price. Depends how much they made of it. Yeah, let's say a small batch. Which... Hmm. And it's an Australian. It's weird that it's still there. Well, for anyone who's not oh, in Australia, were, they will dusty. not be there. <laughs> these were hella dusty on the shelves. They were well, it's not if we anything. can't even find them in Victoria. Then, yeah. You know, it's probably, yeah, it's probably why it's expensive. But honestly, if it was legitimate small batch, um, then I wouldn't be surprised. Like Australian mm. small batch mm. uh, whiskey is normally sits around the 150 mark anyway, regardless, so. Do you reckon it's worth the price? Um, dude, that's such a hard question. Yeah. I don't know. I think there's ones, there's whiskeys I've had for a lot less that I've enjoyed more, but it's unique and I still enjoy it. So I definitely would say I'd spend it, but I don't think I'd spend it again. Mm, yeah. You know, like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm totally willing to spend it yeah, up front to try it for the first time and enjoy the bottle but it's not one where I enjoy it so much that I'm happy to keep buying it, spending 150 bucks yeah. just to keep it in the house. I I'm think on it's, the same page. You know, if it was like 20 to 30 bucks less, probably. 100 bucks, I would Even happily like one, buy 15, it. Even 120, I'd probably buy this. Mm. It's, it's just that 150 is a difficult price to get price range to compete in. 150 is like the average Australian price. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. Even yeah. the Melbourne ones where we're from, they're 150. Yeah, like there's Starwood. only a couple like yeah. Starwood, but they're like 
huge. So yeah. they can, yeah. But I don't know. Anyway, um, look, you probably won't be able to get this unless you are like in the area. Even still, <laughs> yeah. Curly said they've finished production of this specific whiskey and they're running out for the other places that stocked them initially anyway. So run to the Noosa Dan Murphy's if you're anywhere around there, There's if you want to try it. Uh, two left, uh, but apart from that, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully, all, I, I'm totally down to try more from them when they release it, though. Yeah. Um, I think they're a winery. I think Mount, Mount Uncle does red wines. So it's kind of like... try their wine. Morris. Mm, that's Morris, the, yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this episode of Everything Whiskey, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes or not, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, we'll see you next one. Cheers. Cheers.